Hi everyone, welcome to your 13th JavaScript basic video in which we're gonna take a step back from all those typical aspects of scoping and stuff and take a look at something known as alert, prompt, confirm, stuff like that in JavaScript. So, so what happens is basically these are not really technically I should say a part of JavaScript but uh, are more of like a utility function provided by the browser itself. The JavaScript, by JavaScript, what I say, it's not really a part of the JavaScript engine, which something you can say, which kind of powers your JavaScript, which interprets your JavaScript. So Chrome uses V8 as its engine. So alert, prompt, alert, prompt, confirm, and uh, basically these dialog boxes are not really implementation of JavaScript itself, but browsers provide those implementation. So let's really take a quick look at what they are. So I'm gonna say alert, hello, hit save. You can see when the script executes, we get this nice little hello alert from our web page, which is basically that's all about, right? So just use this function, hello alert, and pass in a message which is a string or a number could be anything if you pass in an object it would uh, kind of not really display in a very nice way you can see if i pass in an object okay if i save this you see we get this object object so things kind of break down you can think of it right now i'm gonna come to that later on why is it like that but for now what happens is that you can pass in numbers strings and pretty much it would work just like you expect it to. When you pass in objects or anything else, functions, stuff like that, everything is valid in JavaScript, right? When you pass stuff like that, it will not really be very appealing, right? You can see numbers also work fine. The next thing is basically confirm. Confirm is kind of a dialog box which you can use um, to ask user if they sh really want to perform this particular action. For example, deleting something, deleting a photo or a contact or anything, right? So you can say, are you sure you wanna delete this? And hit save. And you can see the browser renders it like cancel and okay, if I press an okay. Well, what's the benefit of this? Well, as, as, as I told you, that functions can actually return values using the return keyword. So we can actually get the result from this confirm box. And I can console log this result. Hit save. And let's say if I said okay, you can see we get true here. And obviously I want you guys to put semicolons here, right? Okay, we get true. Um, I press cancel, we get false. So now we can, accordingly make decision if result was true then we want to perform this action otherwise well don't perform this just cancel it on a similar manner we have something known as prompt which uh, provides actually a text field for the user to enter some text right cancel we get null which is basically no value as i told you the difference between null and undefined for now you can think of is basically null has to be explicitly set to a variable so you know that yes that variable does not really have any value whereas undefined is basically an uninitialized variable right which does not have any value so if i change this to what's your name what is your name hit save and i enter mayhul here hit enter you see we get mayhul in console log because that's what we got back from the browser. So this was a quick video on alert, prompt, and confirm. People usually use alert, um, usually used confirm, but I don't really think people use a lot of prompt. Prompt is uh, um, kind of used mostly in places where you do not really want to focus on a lot of UI, you just want things to go smoothly and go fast. Basically all three of them. So yeah, essentially it's good to know about them in the beginning stages, but eventually you might not really need them a lot of times. So play around, have fun with these three alert, prompt and confirm dialog boxes. And that's all for this video. I'll see you then in the next one.